Welcome to the distributed learning and teaching uh, news. Uh, my name is Amir Freiduni, faculty liaison, instructional designer for DMNV. And I am Charles Schwen, the IMG and visa administrator in the postgraduate medical education department in the faculty of medicine. Today we're going to talk a little bit about an alternative way in communicating with you. Uh, in the past, we have done emails, phone calls, texting, and has been more largely a text-based society. But here we're trying to offer you an alternative way in communicating with you through special events, any events that might happen in the Faculty of Medicine through the use of video news. Amir? Yeah. Uh, the goal is to change the method or uh, the way that we did uh, uh, communication in the past. We can record the video in the length of maximum maybe five minutes. We can embed it in the website. It can be available to use. We can use RSS feed to send a notification to the users. And the benefit is you can show uh, all events. You can interview people. You can go around uh, anything that is interested, as you mentioned also. Uh, and it's reduced the length of the email because if you want to describe, for example, the place that we are sitting in theater A and explain how it works, it's, it's going to be long email. And does anybody have it that time or passion to, and passion to read? It? And like the old saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. And I think that um, with this communication medium, we can be able to condense a lot of material down to about four to five minutes so that we can be able to save time and be more efficient and with the technological advancements that have been made, we can also uh, be able to put this online and upload them and be able to distribute them out to your Blackberries, your PDAs, your emails, uh, websites uh, in a matter of minutes. Yeah, so this is the demo. It might not be perfect, but we, we're just proposing because we believe the communication is a key uh, and strong uh, and effective uh, in organization that is need in all areas such as the technical, social, management, and, and different aspects. Uh, it's, it's good about, uh, it could be include the, uh, the factor of the organization and the specific job. Uh, it's about the uh, particular skills record. So it's with this kind of the communication, we can go details and in deep for uh, uh, introduce what we have in, in around us in the in faculty of medicine. And communication is very important, whether it be a business, an organization, academia, and education. We can go even beyond those borders and go through distributed learning, e-learning modules, commenting, blogs, uh, and so forth, uh, just on a piece of material and be able to communicate through there and also outlining the four effective ways of communicating, whether it be for the manager and employee relations, in making sure that comments, and making that sure that the employee themselves uh, get uh, all of their ideas out and to their comments and grievances that they may have. Motivation, employee morale. Communication is a basic tool for motivation, which can improve morales for the employee in the environment. Increased productivity, uh, that you can maintain a good human relationship in the organization by encouraging ideas. And for employees, it is through communication that employees can s submit reports and any uh, reports that they could have with seniors in management? I think it should be enough as a demo. Uh, I hope you consider this uh, proposal and uh, we move to the new uh, environment of the communication. Uh, I would like to thank you for your time. Uh, my name is Amir Feiduni. And I'm Charles Schwen for the Distributed Medical Education Video Communication. Thank you. Thank you, and see you next week.